Wait a minute. Could it be simpler than that? Was you ever a little child once, allegedly? Well, I think my parents would have debated that, but yes, yes, I was. (laughs) Think of it as, remember, when we were little children, remember at one time the boys of the house was called masters? And now people call me sir, and I ask, where did I get demoted? Could it be that the little children was the ones asking questions? But when we became sirs, we start telling people how much we know. Sure. You see, and, and well, and I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if 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 saying splitting hairs. I mean, the the the, the issue because it's been a it's been a bit of a moving conversation. But if I try and pin where I hope we're at this point, if we find common ground, and that is that we're talking about where the responsibility lies. I hope that it is, can we agree that that's just a, a theme at this particular moment, where the responsibility lies, yeah? Well, the thing of it is, could it, everything be common ground? And, and the thing of it is, if you're claiming ownership, then would would it be right to, to accept the liability? Well, yeah, I mean, if, if we just say so we're not sort of dealing with molasses or, or quicksand, we're just kind of just finding a point where I can sort of, uh, as a matter of respect to you, but also as a matter of respect to the audience and as a matter of respect to the large body of audio and, and material behind this, which supports this, I would just say, look, uh, whether we, we get into a semantic debate on, on, on one word or the other, I, I, I actually... I mean, complete agreement with the simplicity and the fact that ultimately, if we use that phrase, the buck stops here, that that too many, and I'm going to make a generalization here, and, and you may, may, or not dis, may, or, may or may not agree with this, but I would say that it is a fair generalization to make, that many people have come to the point of learning the law or learning how to deal with the law or how they've found themselves in trouble with the law, where they've sought to lay the blame elsewhere, or they've or they've gone for the the judge's corrupt or the prosecutor's corrupt card, without necessarily showing a competence uh, or even an an, an acknowledgement that the whole presumption system uh, is is uh, in based on you, as you say, not asking questions. If you don't ask questions. If, if you don't um, uh, question what is going on before you, then in their system, they say that that is consent, don't they? Yeah, it works for Christ. Christ, one time, I believe, that's where I got the information from. It all dawned on me one day. Christ was before Pontius Pilate. Pontius Pilate asked him, is you, are you king of the Jews? In other words, is that your name? And Christ said, well... What evidence do you have in that, more or less? He says, you come up with that bright idea or somebody tell you that? And Pontius sure. Pilate didn't have a problem with it. He let it go. But when Christ went mute, he accepted liability. He got crucified, see? Well, and that's that was the example. And, and again, not, not um, we, I did mention, and I did mention, uh, I didn't do it this audio, but I've mentioned in several previous audios on this topic of the role of general executive that, if we want to look to examples of how to conduct oneself in the office of general executor and guardian, then uh, you can uh, you can't get a better candidate than Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, and the other thing, the, deal, I, though, the thing of it is, no, think about it. Why do you got to tell people that you're an executor? Why, if you act accordingly, they know it. They don't need a freaking education. They know you by the way you act accordingly. Sure. And and again, this is a look. <laughs> I keep agreeing with you, even though we're using different words, or might appear to be using different words. But again, we used the point last week, and I've mentioned some of it this time. I mentioned it in how one conducts oneself in paperwork, but but more importantly, how one conducts oneself in all actions well, as, paperwork, as uh, proof. Uh, well, hey, yeah, I don't want to go. Look, I, oh, I, I'm again, just saying, paperwork to me is all hearsay. The only thing I've learned, I, I, you know, I, you, you don't know Batman from a fucking hole, oh, excuse me, from oh, a hole in the right. ground, all right? Yeah. But my experience in life, I learned the only 
thing paperwork is good for is to memorialize an event. I want to talk to the agent that believes they're in charge of the so-called corporation because I want to have some first-hand testimony to give to my so-called brothers and sisters. And other than that, (laughs) all I want to do is memorialize the event. Well, give them a little note so they can remember. See, as I couldn't talk to the one in but believes they're in charge at the moment. Here, I believe there's a mistake in this matter, and I'd like to help settle this matter honorably. And I can be reached at blah, blah, blah. And, and that's, sure. to me, the only thing paperwork is good for. But well, I could if be you, wrong. If you, ever have a, if, if you ever have a chance, Batman, I would love if you had a chance to, to listen to it, it, even at least one or two of the previous audios. I mean, time is precious for everybody. Yeah. But I think you well, would see that virtually everything you have said tonight albeit it might be different words, might be a little bit less colourful, might be more, more colourful, but uh, you, will, you will hear the same words you were speaking now resounding in what we have been discussing because oh, yeah. I have said ad nauseum that all law rests on being auricular. And, and at the risk thing. of... Mm-hmm. If I got an issue with anything you're saying, if I had... Yeah. is. I find too much finger pointing. You know what I mean? Something to consider. Take it for what it's worth. Yeah. I, again, I, I I would love you to, if, if you don't mind me wrapping up t- for tonight, Batman. I I I really would love you to be able to listen to some of the previous audios, only for the sake of you getting up to speed and knowing what what we're being saying, not just tonight, but what we're being saying, because I, I think, think you would well, be pleasantly surprised. Believe it or not, I've been listening to you, and I am. And, and yeah. if I didn't, something said, hey, call in and see where it goes. You know what I mean? And that, that's what's happened here tonight. That, that, I, that, like I'm saying, I've listened to you. And the, only, the only issue I have at the moment, if I own such a thing, is could it be we're blaming the man in the mirror instead of blaming the man looking in the mirror? Think about it. I love you, brother. You're doing good. It's good. Still there? Hello? Anybody hear me? I can hear you, Batman. I I uh, I had an, an audio problem, but I um, I you pretty much had free reign there. So <laughs> now, I, just think about the question. You know, everybody says, could it be the man in the mirror? And, and I I don't know. It dawned on me one day, one step further. Could it be the man looking in the mirror? Yeah. Well, uh, um, thank you. And uh, thank you for uh, for holding the fort then when I had that technical dropout. Batman, thank you. And look, come on and, and or more than welcome. And uh, if you. there's something you don't like, raise it. If there's something that you Aww. want to raise, raise it. Oh, okay? come on. It's not that I don't like anything. I love everything. If I didn't experience it all, how would I know the difference? <laughs> all right. It. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks again. Thank, yeah, thanks for having me. Okay. Good on you. Just going to uh, reload the, uh, the the call here. If I've missed the um, any questions in the chat, I'm just going to ask. Please, uh, please let us know by putting the, the question back in the chat. Um, I'm going to wrap up in a few minutes, guys. Uh, but I'm just going to see if we can get a couple more callers on to to speak. One sec, while I just uh, reload this window. Okay. Look, uh, we've got. North New Jersey uh, to, to speak, and and then I'm just going to then answer the question that uh, Rich64 has put in. If you had a question and it dropped out, Rich64 is the, the only question I can see at the moment, so please type it back in. North New Jersey, can you hear us? Hello again, Frank. I have Hi. another question for you. I am 
in the process of becoming a member on OneHeaven.org, and I'm wondering if the first name and surname clan have to be what was registered on the birth certificate at the time of birth. Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be. You can put the the uh, the the name that is. Um, uh, no, no. The answer is no. It doesn't. Um, the registration uh, of of one heaven all it does is it recognizes that a unique piece of time and space uh, is granted to you which represents your moment of being born and that uh, you are known by a certain name that's all that it all that all that matters so yes you you, you can put in yeah okay you can put in like a name that you're using now even though it's not on your birth is that the same for the eucadia also yes it is yes it is yeah, I mean, the 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 only thing I would say, the only thing I would qualify, is whenever you want to challenge their title, mm-hmm. remembering that they created a title being a slave title on a, mm-hmm. a role, if you want to use the Liveborn record to challenge that, it is difficult if the name that is on the um, registration is different because then there is no way that you can compare apples to apples. Does that make sense? Yes. So, like, I would want to use lowercase my birth name on the form of flesh and then form of trust fiction, I would also want to use my birth, birth name. Correct. Just only, you, for, only to be able to challenge their title, which is one of the key functions of the live-born record. Yeah? Okay, great. Thank you, sir. Okay. Good on you. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Um, Good question here from Rich64, and, and again, I'm sorry uh, that we've had a couple of little technical problems tonight. We're going to wrap up in the next few minutes. Rich64 asks, how do I stop a bank auctioning the house when no court actions are on the agenda? Uh, that's a good one. I, I don't know the answer to that at this point. Um, uh, a bank auctioning the house when there's no court on the agenda. I know of examples in Australia where banks have hired security guards to actually get people uh, removed, forcibly removed from the home where there was no court sheriff or bailiff involved. So I, I don't have an answer. I have to take that on the record and, and give an answer um, this week. So hopefully you can come back on Bridge 64 next week and, and we can give you an answer. Um, McKeesel at University asked the question, isn't entering an instrument into the court docket making public record? Um, no, it's not. Remember, the presumption is it's a public record. But in reality, what is happening is that you are uh, attending a private uh, business of the court guild. And so at that point, it is all corporate and there is no compunction on their part to make it the public record. It all looks like the public record, but it's not. There's a stenographer, there's all that. There's not. Unless you state categorically, unless you have the court entered in before you cross the bar, before you enter the bar for business, that uh, this matter uh, is to be conveyed on the public record, then there is no way to claim that it has been recorded. I, I know it sounds crazy, it sounds almost like Harry Potterish, but that's that's how it is. So yes, um, uh, let's look more questions here before we wrap up. Look. Um, I'm going to wrap up the call tonight. I don't see any more calls coming on. I think we've covered most of the calls. I want to, I want to thank everyone who's come on. I want to thank all who've made their comments, all who involved themselves in the chat. I hope tonight the work that you see that was happening on the will and testament, I hope you see in, in terms of the research that we're doing, is moving forward. It's great to hear feedback from you, positive or negative. Thank you. Thank you tonight. Thank you for everyone. And this time next week, I look forward to hearing from you. At the same time, University of UK. Oh, we've got one more caller coming on here, Massachusetts. So let me unmute that. Massachusetts, hello. We're just about to wrap up. Can you hear us? Hello. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good. Okay, let me try and turn on my hair, my head. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yep. All right. Um, boy, do I love you guys. Let me tell you, you are phenomenal. But um, listen, 
What I wanted to know is that when you 